Hello, UJ fans. Welcome to this League of Legends game. University of Jamestown versus the JC Jets coming in here. We see some pretty good comfort picks coming in on Jamestown. Run it down mid in the top lane with his Alawi. If you've ever watched Jamestown in the past, you have seen Alawi just completely tear up some games. Also, Deer XP with the Hecarim. That is a monster. Hecarim recently buffed, so we're going to get to see Hecarim really deal some damage. We also see the Glockodile with the Victor pick into Vagar, so I'm really excited to see how these two mages are going to be able to battle it out through the whole mid lane game. And two spoiled with Misfortune and the good old classic Rakan for Insanum. Well, as the game is getting in way here, uh, we will. So we just see a defensive opening coming out from UJ. They're not looking to invade. They're not looking for any cheese. I think Hecarim is just comfortable getting his getting his vision out early, knowing where the enemy jungler is starting, and he just is going to do his excellent clear pathing as Hecarims do and just try and set the tempo of the game that way. Yep, and as we expected, around that 55-second mark, Hecarim is going to back, probably grab that Oracle lens so he can, you know, scan for vision before his early ganks. So how was your guys' weekend ending up with uh, League of Legends? Uh, drop, drop a few subs if you had a good weekend, guys. Doesn't look like anything is really going on in the game yet. Just that first wave of farming. Looks like York's setting up for some prio topside. So I would uh, imagine Vi started on her bot jungle to path up and wants prio for that top scuttle. Oh, some trades happening in bot lane. Leona playing pretty aggressive. That level 2 all-in. Just amazing out of that bot lane. So it looks like that trade from bot lane just didn't really result in too much. Maybe just some potion grabs. And yeah, I don't think any sums were blown out of it. Oh, it looks like Misfortune did blow her heal. But Leona also did blow her ignite. So pretty even trade. Uh, both laners looking about full HP. Hecarim is showing... Messed up the camera vision. There we go. Oh. 
So first blood coming out to the JC Jets side on Leona. And everyone else looks like to make it out of the safe. Oh, but the Glockadile roaming down. He has a lot of potential mid laners can be pretty big on their roams. They did pull a heal and flash out of Tristana. The Glockadile not in a great spot with the jungler and Vagar kind of pushing him into a corner, forcing him off some XP from lane. Top, they're really just playing that farming game. You know, these top laners do what top laners like to do and just sit there and farm the whole game. And then at some point, they'll just TP or roam and you just have a monster. Oh, big gank coming in from the Leona on the mid. But it looks like the Glockadile does make it out safe. And he did have to blow his flash. So that is kind of unfortunate. That means he will have to play safe until that's back up. So he's about on a five minute. Can't do too much cooldown. Oh, Vagar might be able to squeeze it out. And he doesn't. Well played for the Glockadile. Ekrom coming in. Running fast like Ekrom does. Big man with the horse. Vagar just really being good at just annoying. He is just harassing Hecarim here. Oh, Vi coming in. This could end bad unless he can get back into lane on between those turrets, and he does. Tristana really greeting for the plates, doesn't quite get it, she does have to jump away. Are we seeing a fight topside? We are. Kind of a little bit of an all all in by York. Run it down mid, not quite not quite having it. He just wants to get back to, to farm and gather in some HP back from the tentacle slams. York can actually just be uh, a menace. York is the champ that is being used by the JC Jets on the top lane. His his passive just causes these uh, the graves, and then one of his moves, one of his uh, one of his abilities pulls pulls ghouls out of the graves, and they're just they're just really annoying. You have to kill them. It takes time to auto them down, and they just they don't they don't give you any reward for killing them. So it's just just an annoyance you have to deal with the whole game. It looks like Jagger or yeah, run it down mid is looking for looking for a play bot side as he as he's going bot and uh, just doing a lane swap with uh, the bot laners. So the bot laners think they might be able to do better in the two v one and run it down mid might thinks he does better in the one v two. So we'll see where they go with this. Well, and Tristana was not having any of it. She just jumps right out. Yo-Yo Dog, the Yorick, really playing around Rift Herald, so, yep, this as we thought, their jungler is on it. But, Deer XP coming in with them, Hecarim speed, and the big ult, they're getting a lot of damage off on Yo-Yo Dog. Looks like UJ is going to get their first P on the scoreboard here with the Yo-Yo Dog execution. Oh no, they don't. 
too spoiled going down to him. Wow, that was just a very unfortunate fight. Yo, JC Jets just really coming in with a really strong full team rotate, I think. That will secure a second objective and uh, quite a few kills for the JC Jets. Run it down mid. Does uh, now have the opportunity to really get a good split push in. You know, when an objective is up on the other side of the map, you just kind of send your split pusher to the other side and away from the objective, and just they just push for towers. That's that's their goal. The lane race. Misfortune really did take a lot of damage there, trying to keep them off the tower. Harold mid. Are we going to be able to do anything about it? Does look like they do get a lot of damage off, but our turret is still up. That's what we like to see. Yep, and we see the lane swap just being stuck with it. So it wasn't just our objectives. I think UJ thinks they have a better shot swapping the bot and the top laners. Well, I don't know. Here comes Alawi coming back top. Lockadile farming up those mid minions. Pushing the waves out. They're trying to get Pryo for this dragon coming up. However, it does look like... Leona's there, so she's probably being followed by someone. Really good, really good trade for, for run it down mid. Just gets a good Alawi pull. Oh, looks like they're having some lag issues, some technical difficulties. So in the meantime, the game is paused. Well, we'll go ahead and just do a little bit of item talk here. So, uh, looks like uh, Alawi is probably building into Divine Sunder. That's a pretty strong item at the moment, especially with the uh, nerfs to a lot of other uh, the Bruiser items recently. Bruiser items took a took a huge nerf in this last patch. Uh, Spore Drinker just completely completely changed almost a whole new item and they also nerfed conqueror those were like the two staples for for bruisers and juggernauts in this game was gore drinker and conqueror those two just kind of go hand in hand both of them nerfed kind of leaves the top lane meta just in shambles nobody really knows what's going on with it anymore and here we are back Back in action, farming up before this drag. like we experienced a little bit of lag for a second there on this side. I wonder if there's something funny going on with the Riot servers. So, big fight here in top lane. This could actually determine a lot as I think TP is up. So, if run it down mid can win this fight, get this all in, which it looks like he's going to do, and he does. Big kill. Big kill top side. That leaves open a great TP play to drag, or he could even just take that turret. That is a massive win on UJ's side. First kill of the game. And given run it down lead, run it down mid a huge lead over his laner. Now he's, I guess he just chose to peel this turret down, get some plates, and his TP is still open, so that's still available to go to that drag fight. Or actually, it looks like they did slay the drag recently, so that actually that option isn't there. But huge lead for him now. Like he's just gonna crash another wave, deny some, deny some CS, some XP from 
Yo Yo Dog Six Six Seven. That's a pretty good name. I kind of kind of enjoy that gamer tag. Misfortune kind of pushed under turret as oh insane. I'm really caught out here and stunned. Yeah, that'll be that'll be it for him. Quite unfortunate there. Just trying to clear some vision and gets caught out. Kind of now misfortune in the 2v1 situation for a little bit. Oh, looks like a fight on Ekram's red buff. Vi hits it with the smite for the steal. And DRXP content with just not taking that fight and just continue farming. Oh, and the Glockodile. Yeah, he just he just got collapsed on hard there. It was quite unfortunate. And Sanum may be caught down. Yep, and he will be caught out again. Too spoiled, just trying to get back into that safety of the turret. We see the Hecarim ult out, and looks like they both will get away safely. A two-level lead for run it down mid in the top lane. That is huge. I think his goal is just going to be run it down now he just has that massive lead he has he has items and xp he's just gonna just gonna fight it out i think that's what he wants here and that's what he's going for yeah when you're two levels down on an alawi there's not much you can do jake skater takes that bot lane turret with the tristana yeah we'll see a big trade here Oh, big R on the Rome top. Let's see how Run It Down plays this. Plays it well. He doesn't want to take the 2v1, so he just walks with 3v1. Now he's really in not a great situation. Don't think he has his flash. Yeah, he burned his flash. Oh, he gets it. He gets one. So I, I would say that was that was pretty worth. He uh, takes down the, the Vi, and they, they get him. And I believe he didn't have a bounty, but the Vi did. So if it's sometimes you just have to walk away with the fight knowing that you can't live, but you get the best that you can out of it. Unfortunate for Deer XP getting getting caught out in that bot jungle. You know, he saw Vi topside, so he thought it would have been free some safe jungle to steal, but the bot lane bot lane was aware that he wanted to do that and you know pushed pushed into their own jungle where they thought he would be. Sanum flashing gets the counter flash from Mr. Sparko. It looks like they might they might be able to secure a kill here in bot side, and maybe even oh top side. That big fight is not going in favor of UJ. Well, the Alawi old actually might change things a little bit. No, a lot of damage, but he just couldn't quite clean up anybody. Sometimes that's the problem with Alawi. You don't you don't really get to control your tentacles as well as you would like, but. At least bot side was able to get a pick on that Vagar, Mr. Sparacco. Looks like a little bit of friendly talk in all chat. Do you like to see him league? League's pretty well known for for being quite toxic, but Vigar said, my heart can't take that, guys. XD, I was screaming. Oh. They're obviously having fun while playing this game. That's what we like to see. We also like to see University of Jamestown winning. Oh, 
Oh, run it down mid, catching him on the back. Pretty good opportunity to get a lot of damage in here, maybe even get the secured kill. Destroys the soul. Yep, this is an easy win for him. 400 gold into his pocket. We're going to see a lot of potential coming out of Alawi now. UJ getting into a pretty tight spot here. Uh, the other the other team, the JC Jets, have secured three objectives, or three dragons. Oh, and you just see Mr. Sparacco just one-shotting with his with his ult like Vigars do. That that ult really does does do some execution damage. But UJ's really gonna have to start playing around dragons now. They don't want to give up Dragon Soul easily, so. I kind of want to see how we're going to play this as a team for, for priority around these dragons and turrets. We're kind of behind on that game, too. And they do catch 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 out too spoiled again. And TP topside, Jagger Meister is down. But the Glockadile might be able to clean up here. Both of them pretty low HP. Mid, DRXP coming in. Oh, and it looks like looks like the Glockadile was on cooldown, couldn't quite clean up there. And Deer XP also just couldn't quite clean up. Jake the Skater on a killing spree. Oh, they caught the, the Vi on her back, kind of push her off, just kind of waste some of her time. Sometimes it's kind of nice just to, to waste time. You know, you just kind of throw off the enemy's tempo of the game if you can stop their back. Kind of seems like it wouldn't be much, but it adds up over time. JC Jets going for a pretty bold, pretty bold Baron play here. All of UJ is alive, but it looks like UJ is unaware that they're going for it, so... That will be a huge objective in the JC Jets' favor. Now they've just buffed all of the lane minions when you're nearby them. And will just allow for a big push. And Champagne Sheriff saying Vigar is best mid, no cap. Like that's, that's debatable. You're just a one trick, so. And he's, he's wanting the Glockadile to run Vigar next game. That would be nice to see. Maybe steal away that carry. Oh, Deer XP, or it was uh, Alawi with a huge shutdown there off the Deer XP's Hecarim ult. And Hecarim getting the shutdown on uh, Leona. That is huge. Two big, big shutdowns going to UJ's favor. That's going to be a lot of money. Hopefully that'll be some big item spikes that we'll see. UJ is in a deficit of about 10k gold right now, so that is actually quite a lot. So that's about three and a half, maybe even four items worth of gold. Oh, let's hope uh, UJ can get some more of these shutdowns to really make that deficit even smaller. Oh, looks like Dragon is spawning up here in a minute. UJ really has to contest this one since it will be the sole point for JC Jets. And you don't want to give away a dragon soul. This one is the cloud soul, so it's going to give an immense cooldown on all of your. T if you have cloud soul, you're going to have an immense cooldown on your ultimate abilities. And they're just not in a good spot to contest. They're kind of split up. 
but so is so is the JC Jets. They're also kind of oh, excellent cage by that Vagar. Kind of have to respect it when you see it. They did get that soul point, but it looks like UJ's in a good good position to kind of sweep up some damage here. Maybe kind of punish their their placements and oh, it's not not happening too well in our favor. Big fear by Hecarim, but doesn't result in too much. Running down mid in the middle, big shutdown for him. His ult did run out of time though, so no more tentacle slams mean no more healing for Alawi. And that's just, that's the end of the fight for him. Looks like they're just going to push Baron buffed minions onto base and just try and go for an end, which kind of makes sense when you're in that position, you might as well. Not too much UJ can do other than try and poke him off, but looks like insane. I'm running in. Maybe he's gonna try and hit an ult, and he just gets he just gets CC'd. And that is game one going to the JC Jets.
Hello, UJ. Welcome back to Game 2 of League of Legends, University of Jamestown, Jimmy's versus the JC Jets. It is your favorite caster here in the booth today, Charlos. Just excited to get into this Game 2. UJ is down. They did not did not pull through on Game 1, but we're here to see what Game 2 has to offer. Uh, a lot of different picks. We, we still see the Hecarim pick coming out of UJ, but... Looks like everything else is going to be different, and a lot of different picks from uh, JC Jets as well. We did uh, happen to miss out on the the sub, the prime sub from Abso Charlos, and uh, Champagne Sheriff hit it on the hit the nail on the head with aw snap, huge sub. Let's go. Okay, that's enough of hyping myself up. Let's get back to this League of Legends game. Yeah, we see the JC Jets uh, pinging out. Pinging out that uh, two spoiled went with a pretty defensive uh, uh, summoner spell set with flash and cleanse. Looks like he doesn't really want to uh, want to get caught in a big CC chain. If any of our league fans are watching, do you know if you can cleanse the Tom Kench ult? Cassiopeia and uh, the Glockadows Cassiopeia and Deer XP looks like they're matching skins. Might check on that real fast. Oh, it does not, it does not let you check skins in, in spectate mode. Oh, well. At least their visual matches it. For the very least. Cheeky invade by the JC Jets. Kind of putting the run it down mid in a weird spot. He can't really get to lane and get that XP that he needs. So he's going to have to kind of wait and let Tom Kench build the, build the wave advantage. Oh, looks like a little, little fight between uh, Deer XP and Crunchy. Their Lee Sin doesn't doesn't go anywhere. Not Deer XP. I run it down mid. He just wants to get back to lane, get some of that XP, get that good old CS, you know. Deer XP is invading, counter invading that bot jungle, trying to get some of that gold and XP back from Lee Sin. He did steal his top jungle. Yo yo dog six six seven has a whole level lead and really isn't trying to trade or fight Irelia. I I don't think that's what you really want to do if you have a whole level lead this early in the game. Just you want to try and put your other laner in as bad a spot as you can. Because he is crashing a pretty decent wave. Takes a turret shot for it. But uh, for somebody like Tom Kench, that doesn't really matter too much. A lot of passive healing with him. Oh, good engage. Oh, that was not UJ. Bad engage. <laughs> kind of get mixed up because they flipped sides. So I was looking at it like we were the other team still. Turn Fog of War off. We don't need it. Santa might go down here, and he does. First blood going to the JC Jets. See if two spoiled can just kind of stay in farm. They are both kind of low. Good poke. Ezreal's poke is just insane and annoying. He seems like he can just Q constantly. It almost looks like he has them down low enough. He can just 2v1 this. Big engage topside. I really it does get the stun and the full. I don't remember what key that is, but a full charge one of those. Get some pretty decent damage off. Unfortunately, Tom Kench just gets to proc that shield, and you basically have to kill him twice. It's just ridiculous. She does get the flash out. That is huge. Run it down mid. Pull in that Tom Kench flash. Guess it was a flash trade, so. 
but I think I think Irelia does 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 have that advantage now. I think the absence of flash on both sides does give advantage to Irelia rather than Tom Kench. She is as she is a very mobile champion. As long as she executes with her Q, which is her dash, she gets to recast it. And it gets to the point where she just executes any minion, so she gets to just spam cast it. DRXP farming up those raptors. I'm sure he is enjoying the recent Hecarim buff. It allows you to heal more and heal more often off of your AoE heal. So that just allows you to farm more and gank more since you can heal up the damage taken when you gank. Looks like a lane swap coming uh coming up mid going top and Irelia going mid. I think that might be pretty pretty useful as uh Irelia could just jump on a Lux and hopefully dodge all of the skill shots and Cassiopeia can just kind of poke away at this Tom Kench. And I think when she does the grounded move, it keeps com keeps Tom Kench from jumping away. Looks like UJ is missing out on that first objective, that first dragon, so that's quite unfortunate. Lee Sin can be pretty hard to contest early game. He's just kind of an early game monster. This game does go long. He might be able to fall off a little, though. Oh, big hook by that Thresh. The Chaos Joker coming in. Thresh... Thresh lanterning and Lee Sin back in the fight. But the TP from running down mid. Are we going to see some something, something here? Dash, she gets the kill. Now she's kind of in a, in a bad spot. Does she dash again and get that Thresh? She does not. TK going to just try and run it down on two spoiled. Won't get there. Not an optimal trade for UJ, but it was something. Some gold going to Irelia, going to make her lane stronger as no gold went to her laner, but she did get some. Too spoiled playing patient, just waiting for that wave to come to him as he knows that he can't really fight, he's not in a position to. Tom Kench moving back to mid, so he just wants to, to match Irelia here. Pretty stepped up for uh, not having a minion advantage. Does get the three passive stacks and run it down mid. Says, oh, that's enough for me. I don't want to trade when I have the fish stacks on me. Looks like Insanum's coming for that that support roam mid. Are we going to see anything off of it? They do think they have vision, so there's not really much. And Lee Sin is also there, so it's kind of a kind of a hard spot for UJ to really pull anything out. Looks like a pretty big wave is going to be crashed on that bot side. It's going to be a lot of gold and XP missed out on. And a missed hook from Insanum. So I think that, well, looks like Lee Sin is just waiting over so patiently in this bush for this fight to start. And he's just going to come and try and clean up. Oh, Cassiopeia coming in for the roam. That is huge. 
Grounded Lee Sin. That means he can't dash, he can't do Lee Sin things. An excellent grab. And Crunchy is down. That is a huge win for you, Jay. And it looks like DRXP is running it down on the Thresh. We're going to be able to get something else here. We are coming back into this game. Let's go, let's go. DRXP slaying them. And now he's onto the MF. Now she is done. You, you, she, oh my goodness. Double kill for DRXP. Hecarim is going to be huge. There's no one that can stand up to DRXP at the moment. Big man as the horse coming through. Too spoiled now. Get some free plates as both of his uh, laners were, were destroyed by DRXP. So free plates, free XP, free gold for him. He gets to back, reset, get some more items, and hopefully come back to lane with a big advantage. The Glockadile really getting some good poke and damage on Yo Yo Dog 667. Oh, Yo Yo Dog 667 looking for the all in. Oh, his jungler is there. Yeah, that's going to be quite unfortunate for the Glockadile. Crunchy does get the get the cast his uh his dash and come in and finish it up the herald drop mid gonna be some big big gold big plates insanum is there Oh, pulls him under tower. Big CC chain. Uh, Luxult kind of keeps keeps Yo Yo Dog six six seven. I think that was a fair trade. We didn't really waste any big ults or sums, and uh, we got the Luxult out for at least another few seconds. Lux ult is also on a pretty low cooldown, so not 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 optimal to always get that out. But we do know that we can kind of push against her for a little bit. She doesn't have that big burst of damage. They do secure a second dragon, so UJ is kind of in a position that they need to start looking for drags. Running down mid, looked like he might get some get some map pressure here. Getting some, some turret plates on the top side. It looks like he actually just chooses for the reset, as UJ probably doesn't know where everyone is at at the moment. Good safe call for him. Just gets the free XP, gets to deny some XP and gold. Another big Luxol and the jungler gets the kill. Lee Sin coming in. He can snowball hard, so UJ is really going to have to look to shut him down. But it looks like the Glockadile comes in, and uh, he's able to stay safe. So that's good to always see. Big hook, the hook. UJ Pog, UJ Pog, UJ Pog coming into chat. Yeah, it was a pretty good play that we did see a few minutes ago. DRXP clearing wards as vision is the name of the game when it comes to League of Legends. Can't fight them if you can't see them, right? We're going to see a big hook from Insanum. Oh, big jukes by Mr. Sparaco the Lux. And her ult does come out again. Doesn't clear, uh, clear away Insanum, so... That's what you like to see, you know, your tanks tanking the damage like they do, getting rid of those big abilities. Big fight bot side here. Run it down mid, just kind of caught out, really, really not too good. That was her TP and her life just away almost instantly. So that's, that's going to be some, some map pressure that she won't have for a little bit with her TP down. Mm -hmm. 
Crocodile kind of caught out there. Not really sure what to do. He was kind of in a bad spot, just surrounded by enemies. Too Spoiled, also kind of in a similar spot. It looks like he's just going to fall back to turret, though. He kind of has that option available to him. Crunchy, the Lee Sin, getting some counter juggling in as uh, he knows he has a bunch of teammates in the area, so it's just kind of safe for him to do so. Another ult coming out of Lux, big hook from Thresh. Yeah, and Insanum was just, just CC'd to death, just root to, to hook. Not much he could have done there. They blast that turret down, so the first turret looks like it is going to the JC Jets. Little bit of little bit of action in the mid lane didn't really amount to much and uh uj with their objective of the herald coming in top side big split push for irelia if she can land this turret that is a lot of gold i think that's like i think they buffed the amount of gold that side lanes get to kind of encourage split pushing so that's almost like two kills worth of gold so like that is a huge huge amount for irelia to get i mean that's just gonna really snowball her item she already has blade of the rune king uh, she has a lot of a lot of mythic options from Trinity Force to uh, other. Oh, big fight mid coming in, big hook, but it looks like we're able to get a, the JC Jets were able to get outside of the UJ's range. Back to what I was saying about Irelia, she does have a lot of uh, mythic item options from Immortal Shield Bow to Trinity Force and Gore Drinker, so. We'll just kind of have to wait and see where she goes with that route. Uh, next drag coming up here in a few seconds. UJ is really trying to get some priority, but with uh, Insanum being down, they just don't have the support that they'll need to really get some cheese blitzcrank kills. In terms of the base race right now, looks like that both teams are pretty even up with uh, two turrets down for each side. And uh, just a, a little bit of an objective lead for the JC Jets. So let's hope uh, UJ will be able to kind of kind of get that under control, get some more tempo back into the game, get some get some objective priority here in the next few minutes. As I think the, the next objective that is up is Baron, but no way either team is ready for Baron when it spawns. Uh, However, after that, I think it's about five more minutes until the next dragon, and it, well, they'll be setting up for Mountain Soul. So JC Jets are at Soul Point currently, and uh, UJ UJ is without a dragon. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of want to see a lot of pressure for drags. Big Lux ult coming out, so she's just able to really just delete the Glockadile. Oh, but huge, massive fear. Yeah, a massive shutdown. Deer XP on a rampage. Oh, gets rooted by the Lux. But, you know, the Hecarim doesn't care. Mr. Speedy Boy getting that double kill. Second double kill of the game. Oh, missed hook by Insanum. And just counter hooked by uh, the Chaos Joker. And the ult coming out from End Misfortune. Kind of cleaning up uh, Insanum. Too Spoiled does make it out alive. And uh, with his ult still. So... Let's uh, hope that, oh, DRXP coming in. DRXP coming in fast. The big horseman doing some stuff. Too spoiled, getting some getting some damage on. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be a secured kill here. Just an auto or two away. And DRXP is on a killing spree. Let's go, University of Jamestown. Oh, coming, coming in here close to the 20-minute mark. Uh, UJ is down about 4K gold, so that, that, could be a, that could be a little bit better. But I think we're coming back. DRXP just got three kills in the last, like, two minutes. So that's going to be huge. We're going to be able to see that play out at the next team fight uh, uh, around the next uh, spawning drag. 
Uh, a lot of a lot of just uh, objective or our map pushing here. You know, some turrets for bot, turret for top. You see that a lot. People just trading turrets out in this game, especially when. Oh, little little fight here. Run it down mid against. Oh, the ult coming out from Irelia. Yeah, and I think that I think Irelia has that. Oh, oh, flash. He's, he's gonna flash for it. Now I don't. Th His dash is up. Auto, auto, and that is it. That is that is the kill. Now run it down mid. It has another kill behind him. Deer XP kind of trying to fight it out with Yo Yo Dog six six seven, but it's kind of hard to kind of hard to fight Tom Kench. He's so tanky. You almost have to kill him twice, but it looks like <laughs> UJ is gonna be able to do that with Cassiopeia from the Glockodile, uh, just securing that kill. Tom Kench. He kind of has uh, has this gray shield, and when he presses a E. Now that gray shield turns into an actual shield, and so you actually have to kind of kill him twice. All the damage he takes is stored in the gray shield, and then he just converts that to a regular shield. So not only he is a tank and builds just tanky items, he turns all of the HP you just took from him into a shield. So you like just you have to follow through and just fight him two times, and it's just it's ridiculous. The man is almost overpowered in the top lane meta right now. And he might be, especially after we see the, the bruisers who were kind of running the meta on the top all got nerfed with Conqueror and Gordrinker going down. Oh, big push uh, big push mid here. Looks like we have a 3v3. I, I would like to see a hook, get someone underneath this turret, and that's what we see. Grounded. Lux ult coming out, though. Oh, we might... And they shut down the Misfortune. Awesome hook, amazing hook by Insanum, and really well followed up by Two Spoiled and the Glockodile. That's what we like to see UJ in this fight. Uh, a couple minutes ago, we were down 4k gold, and looks like we're only down 3k gold now. So that's huge. Double stun from Run It Down mid, and he's running it down in the mid lane right now. Picked up a kill on Chaos Joker, and I think UJ might just kind of kind of play this safe here. You know, they they got a kill, they got a pick. They, I think they just want to kind of back off here. Don't want to overextend. Yep. Yeah, and like I thought, they're just kind of slowly just saying, hey, five of us are here. You guys are down a player. Don't fight us. And that's going to be great prior for this dragon. You know, this dragon's keeping uh, keeping the JC Jets off of Soul Point. So that's going to be huge. Looks like uh, UJ is just kind of Yep, just like we thought, really getting proud for a drag. They're all kind of hiding in a bush here. I think they want to just get an ambush off on... Oh, big ult from running down mid. And that's going to be one. Blockadile has taken down Yo Dog, Yo Yo Dog 667. And uh, Deer XP coming in with the, the kill on the Lux. Looks like running down mid did, did die for it, though. Uh, yep, and we also lost two Spoiled. But I think I think UJ still has a chance here, uh, as Crunchy and Chaos Joker are low. Oh, but an excellent Thresh hook, and now UJ I think might have to give this drag. Well, actually I take that back. DRXP is oh DRXP is gonna back. I think he is he is low. He doesn't want to risk that giving away his his gold, and he does have a shutdown. So yeah, we don't. I think I think that's the right call. It's an unfortunate give, but right call by DRXP. And Insanum trying to get away. Yep, he flashes and, and he's out safe. Oh, and uh, the JC Jets just going for a bold Baron play, knowing that all UJ has spawned, and they don't even have five men over at Baron when they initiated. Uh, hopefully, yep, the Blast Cone coming in. Huge Hacker Molt, massive fear. A lot of CC coming in from UJ. And uh, Crunchy has the first kill on UJ. Uh, UJ hasn't answered back yet, but I think I think we will get some stuff coming out on this fight. Interesting choice. I think uh, running down mid was running it down on the thresh, and I think there was just some higher damage options that they really could have gone for. That was a really unfortunate fight. Just a five v five. Couldn't couldn't take anyone. Couldn't take anyone down in that fight, and that's that's going to give Baron and just a huge.
huge tempo and swing of the game into the JC Jets' favor. Yep, and there's the Baron. Baron also gives 300 gold to each one of your teammates, which which is a lot. That's a kill amount of gold. So, UJ is gonna have to take that into and give that some respect coming into the next team fight, as they are down almost uh, 10k gold now, or 6k to be, or 8k to be precise. Wow, Lux playing cheesy. She obviously has some vision up there. Hitting the Glockadile with just a Q just to do some damage and just be annoying. Oh, Thresh has that hook, and I think that might be it for run it down mid. Oh, and Tom Kench coming in. And two big ults coming out from the JC Jets, and I think... I think that might be enough pressure to almost just end this game now. They'll just big push with these Baron buffed minions. Take this and end in Hib. Bring their, their super minions and then buff them and just just walk it into their base. That's just let the minions do the work from here. They have they have the numbers advantage. UJ can't really fight back and we'll just kind of let the game run its course from here on. Champagne Sheriff uh, saying this this Thresh doesn't miss a hook, and he's right. This Thresh is good. He is a plat player, and uh, saying Insanum's not having a great time. I, if I was getting hit by that many hooks, I also wouldn't be having a great Big ult from DRXP, uh, pushing some people out of the fight. Maybe we'll pick up a kill. A lot of people low. Nobody dead yet on either side. Uh, Jake the Skater took down, run it down mid. Two spoiled coming down, and Sanum coming down, and yeah, I think that there is game. They're gonna be able to just push push Nexus after that. Really well played by University of Jamestown, and excellently played by the JC Jets. Unfortunate that we had to see our team UJ go down like that, but you know, I, I do believe the JC Jets is one of the top ranked teams in the league right now, or in the division. Like the <laughs> league, league is the game. So, that does happen. Uh, really well played. So, if you are a University of Jamestown fan and you're coming back to watch some more games, I believe later this week, uh, starting tomorrow, we should be having Valorant. And give me a second to think about it. Uh, probably, I think Overwatch, Valorant and Overwatch tomorrow. Tuesday so yep Valorant or I know for sure Overwatch and Valorant tomorrow so tune in then tomorrow evening I believe we start at 7 o'clock with one of the two games uh, thanks a lot for the support and uh, thank, thank you all of our viewers and subs we really do appreciate it and have an excellent night and uh, have a good start Monday morning on our school week